Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So you say you're from the tribe of, is it Gad or is it? Gad. Gad. All praise. So you know that you're of the, of the tribe of Israel then? Yes. Okay. So yes. are you keeping God's commandments? But you but you're willing to, to keep God's commandments then? Yes. All yes. praise. Yes. yes. All praise. I'll I, I, I do anything to keep God's commandments well. Anything. All right. Well, I need more knowledge so I can... I need more knowledge. What's your name again? Charles. Charles. Okay, listen to this, Charles. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord. So, Charles, how would do this to keep God's commandments? To love God with all our heart, mind, and soul. Can you tell me how do you love God? How do, how do, you, do, you, do you love God? Yes. How do you show God you love Him? Uh, prayer. Uh, being humble to Him. People are coming around. Right. You know, helping people who's less fortunate than myself. And we can tell you got a humble spirit. Oh, yeah. All praise to the most high for that. Definitely, definitely. Give me uh, First John 5 verse 3. And hating them up over there. <laughs> I hate them up. Uh, Verse John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. It says that the love of God is keeping his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. That means they're not hard to do. Keeping God's commandments are not hard to do. You know that there's the Sabbath? Yes. You know that? Yes. Okay, so what day do we, do we as a people so-called go to the Christian church? The so-called Christian church. What day do we go to church? Sunday. Sunday. According to the scriptures, today is the Sabbath. So we have to come out of the Christian church. We have to come out of Sunday and come congregate on Saturday, which is today. From Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. You understand that? Yeah. Give me Exodus 20, verse 8. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Yeah. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So today is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. We don't celebrate Father's Day. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving. We don't celebrate any of those days. We don't celebrate the Christian Church Sunday. Today is our Father's Day. That's right. And that's the day that we can congregate. Give me Zephaniah 2 verse 1. That's a commandment that we congregate together. But as a people, we think it's supposed to be on Sunday. But we're breaking God's commandments by doing that. Well, I mean, as a people, when are we going to come out of these Christian churches and realize that this is what the Bible teaches? Does it teach Sunday? Read. Yeah. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Yeah. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together, O nation not desire. The Bible says, gather together, O nation not desire. We are a nation that's not desired by anybody, Charles. Good. And the okay. white man hated us. The Chinese man hated us. The African man hated us. We're all hated. The Bible has commanded us to come together, O nation not desire. And do what? Keep God's keep God commandments. We have a school right here in Jacksonville, Charles. You're welcome to come today. I will. Okay, we can get that all praise. We'll be there at 2 o'clock. As soon as we leave here. Give me uh, this, uh, number 15, verse 38. You see these things in our church right here? All of us have got them all. You know these are? Yeah, he's playing the He did? Yeah. Did he get the scripture? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's Numbers 15, verse 38. Read it. Numbers 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them bridges in the borders of their garments. So the Bible says, bid them, that means command them that they make bridges in the borders of their garments. It's, 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 so far, what I'm giving you, is it hard to do? No. The Bible says if you love him, your this commandment is not hard to do. It's not grievous. So putting printers on the bottom of the garments, the women put them on the bottom of their skirts, it's easy to do. It's a commandment, a commandment of the Most High God. If you love him, you will do it, right? Yeah. Right, read. That they make them bridges in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Throughout their generations, that means forever. Generations means it continues on and on and on and on. You tell your children, your children tell their children. So far and so forth. It just keeps going. Read. And that they put upon the bridge of the borders a ribbon of blue. See, all of us have a ribbon of blue. You look to, to the officer right there, officer right here, right here, we all have ribbon of blue. It's a commandment. Read. And it shall be upon to you for a bridge, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. 
So we're supposed to look at these printers and remember all the commandments of the Most High God. Today we shouldn't be buying and selling. Today we shouldn't be cooking. If you, if you find yourself going into to any type of sin, you should be able to look at these scriptures and say, hey, I can't do that. The Bible commands me not to break the Sabbath. Cooking on the, on the Sabbath day is a sin. Buying and selling, these, these stores right now that you see should not be open today. Because today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Give me 2 Chronicles uh, 7 verse 14. And this is how we repent. We see the things that we're doing that's not according to this Bible, and we turn away from it. If you go to church on Sunday, you change that, and you go and congregate on Saturday. If you're cooking on the Sabbath day, stop cooking. You can make sandwiches, you can, you can, you can cook Friday night, Friday before night time, and prepare for uh, the Sabbath day. You understand, Charles? I read. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. That's what you said earlier, Charles. It says you're humble. And I can see your humbleness. The Bible says, if my people, not the whole world, but my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Read. Shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. And turn from their wicked ways. You gotta seek God's face and turn from your wicked ways. What's, what's our wicked ways? Our wicked ways is breaking God's commandments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going against His laws. That's what sin is. The Bible says that sin is breaking God's law. To God, the Most High, that's wickedness. So we gotta come out of that, whatever it may be. Whether it's, it, whether you're committing for the fornication, adultery. I don't know if you're married for adultery. If you're smoking, whatever those things are. You gotta stop it. Did you, you say you do smoke? Yeah. If you're eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, all that stuff, you gotta stop eating it. The Bible says that those things are abomination. The Bible says that if you smoke and you put that into your body, your body is the temple of God. And you're defiling it. Those are the things that we gotta do to turn from sin, to turn from wickedness. Keep reading. Then will I hear from heaven? When you do that, the Bible says, then the most high is gonna hear from heaven from heaven. Then we're going to be able to gather this captivity and be rulers like we're supposed to be in the first place. Read. And we'll forgive their sin. And we'll forgive our sin. That's how we can be from heaven. Give me uh, Revelation 2 verse 14. That's how we can be from heaven. You want to see the kingdom of heaven on the show? Yes, I we, do. We all do, don't yes, we? We should. I hope yeah. so. Oh, yeah. So we got work to do. I don't know who about nobody else, but I do. That's right. We got work to do, Charles. We got to keep God's commandments. We got to know who we are as a people. We're not black men. We're not Indians. We're not Hispanics. We are the true children of the Most High God. We are the true Jews, the true Israelites. Read. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Blessed are they that do His commandments. See what the Bible says, Charles? It says, blessed are they that do God's commandments. You can't say I got an interpretation or God knows my heart or he knows my intentions. No, the Bible says you got to do something. That means you got work to do. Read. That they may have right to the tree of life. That's how you get eternal life. By keeping God's commandments. Not by anything else, not by what you heard, not by what you thought, but keeping God's commandments. The Bible says, why call me Lord, Lord, and you don't do nothing I say no. There's a reason why God is saying that. But we so stuck on Christianity and believe what they say because we think that we can just do whatever we Whatever we believe, whatever we feel, YOLO, that's not what the Bible says. All right, Charles? So we appreciate you listening. Remember, we do have a school right here in Jacksonville. Yes, so Our address on the back of the flyer, yes. phone number. Give us a call. Contact us. Yes, I will, man. Hey. I'm so glad y'all came be with out here. I appreciate y'all coming out here, man. All praise. I've been, All waiting. Praise. I've been waiting patiently for y'all. All, All praise. praise. I'm, so, I'm so excited. When I seen the purple, hey, I, I knew. Hey, I when I heard exactly you screaming, I, I heard you I, screaming. I knew you. I said, that brother must know us. Yes, All I knew. Praise. I was at that house with my porch. And I, 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 I kept I seen him walking. And I was like, like some brothers I know, he met one of my uh, roommates, he's like, what's wrong? I'm like, that's like one of my roommates, I can't even go see, check this out for a minute. Yes, sir. So I came down a little bit, I see the pastor flying, I see the purple, and the fringes, and that's what made me, that's what made me start screaming. I was like, yes, finally, finally they came to the All block, right. man. All right. like, oh. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.